Switching to daylight lights makes lit areas seem brighter with the same lighting power and therefore should offer significant cost savings. Lights that are more similar to the sun appear brighter and improve your vision. But making the switch to bluer colors is not automatic. There is more to the issue of lighting color than what you see, and you have to understand those issues if you are making a lighting change. Hi, my name is Brad Gallant, the principal of Beyond Green Consultant. And I'm Peter Gallant. Welcome to the Go and Green to Save Green video series. Lighting color is the color of light emitted by a lamp. Simple, except when the residential lighting industry confusingly classifies light color by two comparisons with seemingly opposite meanings. First, there is the convention of blue is cold and red is hot. And then, there is color temperature measured in degrees Kelvin. In this old system that many people still use, incandescent lamps are called warm lights since they emit a light like a warm orange flame. Daylight lights are blue and therefore called cool. I guess that comes from the human experience. We turn blue when cold and red when hot. In terms of actual color temperature, this comparison does not hold at all. When compared to stars, the colors of incandescent lamps are more closely aligned with the cooler celestial body. Rated at 2700 degrees Kelvin or 2427 degrees Celsius, the spectrum of light is concentrated around reds and yellows, like a cooler dying star. When things get really hot, like the sun, which ranges from 5 to 10,000 degrees Kelvin, the light emitted is blue or white. See this light a match. It is blue and hotter close to the match, and orange and cooler at the tip of the flame. In lighting environments, cool white or 4100K is most commonly used in offices. The blues are labeled at 5,000 degrees, and daylight lights are normally 5,000 degrees and above. Even though 2700 Calvin colors are purchased by most North American residential customers, our eyes are most attuned to seeing the 6500K light from the sun. In fact, our brains have adapted to sunlight so much that the physical light measured in lumens per watt on a light meter is very different from the apparent light we see. Our brain, lumen for lumen, or light unit for light unit, sees light from a 6500 Calvin CFL as 2.1 times brighter than that of a 2700 Calvin warm white fluorescent and 1.5 times brighter than that of a 2700 Calvin broad spectrum incandescent. In sunlight, we see better. Our bodies are more alert, our ability to focus our vision increases, and when reading, our eyes do not get as tired. Colors are more vibrant, and you already know this to be true. Haven't you taken a needle to the window to thread it? Haven't you matched colors to find them different in the daylight? Or have you moved closer to a window to make reading easier? The effect of daylighting introducing sunlight indoors is so great that Walmart uses daylighting whenever possible. It increases sales and decreases employee turnover and sick days. From a cost standpoint, daylight lights can be beneficial as well. As an energy consumer, the ability to save 50% on lighting costs is outstanding. I had one major property manager see that a small storage room could be better lit with a 13 watt daylight CFL versus a 23 watt warm CFL, saving $10 per year per bowl. With thousands of rooms required to be lit constantly, the savings were considerable. Personally, I use the bright lights in my kitchen for food preparation and above my bed to wake up on a cold winter's morning. I use them when I'm reading, but I keep warm lights in my bedroom table lamps so that I have more control over when I want to go to sleep. That is because bright lights are not always the answer. Daylights might keep us up when we want to settle down or make our food appear less red and appealing than candlelight. It will also take some time to get used to the switch. And experience shows making the switch never works when you mix colors unevenly since it can create shadow effects that make people uncomfortable. More important for businesses and schools is that the light difference that we see is not measured by standard light meters. Light meters treat all visible light emitted equally. Our preference for daylight is based on how our brain sees light, and lighting professionals have not agreed upon a measurement standard to account for lighting spectrum differences. So businesses have to ensure safety rules are met and they meet light intensity standards. 
the next time you're at your local big box store, consider buying a set of six Daylight 13 watt CFLs for less than $15, or a couple of Daylight LED bulbs. They will not be quite as good as the medically prescribed $250 light boxes, but they are an inexpensive boost when you are feeling tired. You will see better when reading, and you can save some energy too. Now, let's go beyond green. 